We're doing it again. Yes! <laughs> and uh, do we know what episode this is? Yeah, episode number seven. It says episode t- week 24. Week 24. <laughs> so confused. <laughs> oh, week of the 24. Uh, yeah. The Queen Bees Podcast. Hello, baby. How are you? Doing good. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We are on episode seven, and this is a really exciting episode. Yes, hopefully you've been liking it and subscribing, leaving some comments. I haven't seen very many comments with questions. Yeah. But that's okay. Uh, Hopefully we're being thorough. So don't forget to subscribe and follow and share and share. Right now we have an intro already. Have you seen the intro? To to this? Yeah. No. Oh, wow. Okay. We have already the intro. Oh. Did we do it last time? Yeah. Oh. We had two episodes doing the intro, baby. As you guys know, March is coming to a close and we're on Easter week. Uh, Easter is my favorite holiday, personally. The only thing about Easter, when I first came to America, what happened that Holy Week? Like, what is Easter to you? In Latin America, it's a really big deal. Okay, so tell me, what is Holy Week? It's Semana Santa, and it's about all the week that Jesus suffered. Okay. So it's like Thursday, Poncio Pilato killed him. Mm. Friday, da, 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 and he, he resuscitated on Sunday. Uh-huh. So, it's all about that. But, what I was going to say, like when I moved to the States, everybody was just saying like, oh no, because in Venezuela or in Latin America, Holy Week is totally off. For everybody. Off. off. Oh, off. no one works. No. Well, schools are off and nobody works Thursday and Friday. So, it's Thursday. sort of like spring break. But spring breaks, I don't understand because some people have it one week and other people have it the other That's week. True. Yeah. This is like literally everywhere. Thursday and Friday, nothing. It's dry, loud. Like you cannot drink. Do they? Oh, what about Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is flexible. Uh. School, non school. No school. No school. Some works, but some. Well, hospitals are usually open. I don't know. We were talking about Venezuela. I'm just, uh, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Venezuela has a really busy job. My eyes are so twitching. Don't know. <laughs> but, but what I was going to say, like, some, I grew up, like, people save their vacation to take Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So they will attach it to Thursday and Friday. That's holiday. Uh-huh. Is that most people or is that people who mostly are uh, Catholic and or religious? Or oh, Venezuela is a country that 99, 99% is Catholic. Uh-huh. Okay. Or so Latin there's America. the 1% that don't gonna, save those days because they don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about Catholic because I moved to the city in 2017 and I forgot about all these things. Mm-hmm. And last year, I didn't, I didn't recall Holy Week or nothing. Uh-oh. And... It was on Spencer's birthday, and oh, we yeah. went to Colombia uh-huh. and Dominican Republic. So when we were in Colombia, we landed on Colombia on su- on Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday? No. I mean, I'm so bad right now. Is Palm Sunday the day before Easter? The Sunday before Easter? No. Is 40 days before? Oh, I mean, I think so. <laughs> I was thinking of Easter Sunday. I'm like, no, that's not Palm Sunday. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know. But Palm Sunday is the day that it starts. Yes. So it's the week before. Yes. Okay, yeah. I do oh. believe. Okay. Fact check. I think so. Because, I mean, in Venezuela, I remember the palms are so... You guys have palms. Yeah, we have a lot of palms. Yeah. So people are with their palms going to the Catholic church and stuff. And are you looking it up? Yeah, I'm going to fact check for us so that we don't look like idiots. It was March 24th. Palm Sunday is March 24th. 
So it is. Oh uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, it's it is this coming Sunday. Yeah. So is that? I keep thinking next. This Sunday is Easter. It's not. Okay, Palm Sunday is the Sunday before, and I remember. I have memories growing up because my grandma, my grandma, she loved trees. She loved all the plants. Yeah. I, I mean, she loved plants usually more. Th- I don't know if you know that, but in Venezuela, we don't have like a uh, water like you do. We don't have, you don't have water, like drinking water. Like, no, any water. What are you talking about? It's an island. Venezuela is not an island. Though. Where you are from. It's a the peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of water. What are you talking about? No, yeah, but that's salty water. But, you know, oh. water is, does not come like um, normal ways, regular ways. Okay. So I remember like we had like regular water, like we have water at 9 p.m. Uh-huh. Or, you know, the, the toilets uh-huh. or the sink uh-huh. at 9 p.m. We had just an hour of water. Uh-huh. So I remember, and I actually, and I always has been like a person that actually go to sleep really early. And my grandma and I is like, I had to water the plants. <laughs> like, I had to go to school tomorrow. So my grandma, she really loved like plants. And she had a lot of plants. I remember all the neighbors just coming to my grandma like, hey, can you give me palms? Uh-huh. Because they had to do something. Yeah. Uh, so I remember everybody going to the church and stuff. And you know, um, on Palm Sunday, the in in according to the Bible, you know, people watch Jesus ride into Jerusalem on his donkey, and they were screaming, "Hosanna, Hosanna!" And Hosanna in Hebrew. I think it's Hebrew. It means save now, mm-hmm. which is exactly what he was going to do. He was, you know, he was, I don't know if uh, everyone else knew. but oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, when you were starting writing out the things, I was like, oh. Yeah. Because Hosanna in the highest, our savior in the highest. He's going to save us. Because what I see about Holy Week mm-hmm. is 100% Jesus. Yeah. In my, like, in my country, it's just going to the church, processions. I was a priest kid. Uh, uh-huh. Like an altar girl? Altar girl. Uh-huh. I was an altar girl. And I remember them. I know. I know all the things are about America, about altar people. Uh, I just, no, I just wasn't, I didn't know that they had altar girls. I know. We were so inclusive. Yes. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, I was an altar girl. Cool. I was an altar girl, and I remember I was so excited about Holy Week because we get to wear like the purple jeans and the yes. white, and the, the white thing with the purple, and we went like you know in the like church. a sash. Did you have sashes, or just like the whole robe? No, it just oh yeah, it was like a sash. It was like yeah. a belt sash. Yeah. Oh. So the processions in in Semana Santa, like all people, all grandmas. Catholic people, they go to church in Semana Santa, uh-huh. Holy Week. They just go to church. They Every the, day. Kind of, because it's, it's, it's a ritual. Yeah. I don't remember, actually, I don't remember all of them. Mm-hmm. I just remember, I remember like Thursday Santo, mm-hmm. eh, Jueves Santo, Viernes Santo, Sábado Santo, Domingo Santo. So those four days are crucial. I remember that growing up, I hated that I was watching La Telenovela. What is that? Telenovela. So opera. Oh, soap operas. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't do it on Thursday or Friday, because uh, Santo, because it was like a main holiday. Oh, like, my goodness. Speaking of shows, Thursdays right now are where Mom and My show is on. Young Sheldon, uh, like the Big Bang Theory. And mm. it's the new season is out Thursdays at 8 p.m. And last night I raced home from work so I could watch Young Sheldon. And record it for mom because she was at work. And it was the NCAA March Madness. <laughs> they postponed the show. I was so disappointed. I mean, I love basketball, but I was like, my show. <laughs> Speaking of shows. So, yeah. 
Yeah. So I can relate to that feeling. Yeah. <clears throat> so Thursday and Friday, it like so all the all the ladies and all you know. So processions. I I'm trying to remember because in Catholic we believe in the images, you know, all the pictures and all the stuff. Uh-huh. I remember in the church we had the twelve or thirteen deans. The, you know, like the, deans the are, apostles or the saints or. I, no, 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 no. It's all the steps that Jesus had to do. Oh, okay. Like, he carrying the cruise, he carrying the dad. The, you know, it's all the steps yeah. that Jesus had to do. So we recreated every... The Last Supper. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, no from the Last Supper. No? From, like, when he carried the cruise. Okay, so after he was given to Pontius Pilate, and, yeah. they, and the people yelled, crucify, crucify... Yeah, all these things. I I mean, I just remember somebody with the things. I'm not sure why. So it yeah. started with him carrying the cross. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I mean, I don't want to say anything yeah. because I know that they are more than 12 or they are like around 12 or 12 15 steps. stations. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So you and you guys it. recognize every single one. Yeah, every wow. single way. And walking. And some people like pay promises. Uh huh. Like, you know, I promised last year if you save me from cancer, I'm going to go out this thing barefoot. Uh huh. Do you guys have cobble roads for that, or what does that mean? Uh, cobble road is like stones, an uncomfortable path. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like people actually they pay the promise, uh-huh. their promises. Oh, okay. Just like walking barefoot, or you know, if you say my kid, or actually if I had a baby, or whatever, like you pay promises doing these processions. Uh-huh. So when I was in altar gear, I was so excited about going to the procession. Uh-huh. Because I ended up in a big ma- miss, mass? Mass. Mass. And actually, yeah, I was so excited about that. And I did it. I did it once, yeah. I mean, I was an only child, so yeah. they put me in anything that I could do, so even though me yeah. in altar gear. And now thinking about it, I was the only altar gear. And I was in the cathedral. In the cathedral. Yeah, I was in the cathedral. From Punto Fijo, I was an altar girl in the cathedral. Wow. It was fun. I was raised Lutheran a bit, and there were... I still don't understand that much. Well, it's very not that different. Um, but uh, they do have altar boys. Altar. There was girls, too. They usually wore white robes, and they would just go and light the candles at the beginning, uh-huh. and they would put the candles out at the end of whatever service. But I, ne- I never got to be one. I just remember thinking, wow, they get to go up there and light all the candles? Yeah, I know. I think, I, they get I to mean, put all the candles I out? Know, and I didn't. I don't remember being did you have the, did, with you, the, did you have the fancy candle lighter things? No, I didn't do that. Uh, but I remember, like, doing the offering. Uh-huh. And I love it. And because so you I, get to pass the plate. Yeah, I had to go, like, because they had, like, From a row to row. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> oh, we call them ushers. Oh. Yeah, it's usually older men, but not always. They're no, usually no, I was a little kid. I was like... Yeah. But I'm Catholic. Yeah. I did my bautism, and actually I did my first communion. That was, like, pretty sick. Like, it's a big deal. Everybody makes, like party and stuff and yeah like it's you know it's like kind of like first wedding because you were like yeah <laughs> um you had to go to church every single week and it's like a class yeah we had that too um confirmation we call it confirmation no, class we have we have first communion and we had confirmation oh uh, we did confirmation all the way to learn everything and then we got our first communion oh i mean oh, you're doing backwards we could go up for communion but the pastor would just give us a blessing Mm. And then once we were confirmed... But do you actually, you do? No, they would just bless you. Oh. Um, but then after you took your confirmation classes, you could go up and your pastor knew you were confirmed and he would give you the body of Christ mm. and the blood of Christ. And yeah. you would you know, be able to do communion. It was a big deal. The church would celebrate you. Your family would celebrate you. I remember my grandma and grandpa gave me this magnetic Bible. I still have it. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. But um, we were talking about the 12 steps. Yeah, it's, it's big. I'm talking, you know, like some procession can have like at least 2,000 people. Wow. Or more, you know, it's the whole town, the whole people. That's um, amazing. It is. But there's another part of the population that takes Semana Santa just to do vacation. Yeah. So my town... My hometown is a beach town. 
Mm-hmm. Beach town. Yeah. Beach town. Beach town. <laughs> so yeah, my hometown is a beach town. It's, a, it's on the coast. <laughs> it's on the coast. <laughs> There's beaches everywhere. <laughs> So listen, everybody wanted to go there, so we got packed uh-huh. of tourists. Oh, and actually, oh, them. everyone's on spring break. They're going to Venezuela for the beaches. No, Venezuela. Punto fijo. Oh. everybody from Venezuela go to Punto Fijo. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh huh. So Semana Santa for us is like we wanted to do a religious thing, but it's all these tourists here, yeah. especially from Maracaibo, yeah. <laughs> and. Plus that, my city was uh, free sales taxes. Nice. So people actually love going to vacation in there because you can actually go to buy stuff. Yeah, with no sales tax. Exactly. Ching. So Semana Santa for us was packed. You go to every single liquor store, and actually Thursday and Friday, nobody's going to sell you alcohol. Yeah. Just on the table. Right, is. Yeah. So people... Just go and buy and buy and buy and buy and buy to be packed for Thursday and Friday. Because as I was saying at the beginning, when we started talking about it, last year I got to go to Colombia Mm -hmm. and Dominican Republic using a Holy Week. Honestly, since I have been in America, I totally forgot about Holy Week because I mix it with spring break. But today with you talking about Easter and all these things, it was like so connected because for me Easter was like X. Yeah. With color, that's nothing about Jesus <laughs> to me. I'm sorry. It's just like, it's not. To me, I remember, I remember like my, my mom's uh, godmother. She's so religious. Um, I didn't have a car. So I need to get to go with people to get to do the stuff I wanted. I remember I wanted to go to the seven temples. Oh, seven Seven temples? Yeah. So are there seven temples in Puerto Fijo? No. Oh. It's a... I don't know. I'm going to apologize about that, but she told me about that. That in Semana Santa, you had to go to seven temples, seven church, and ask for the seven church. Hey, and ask and pray in the seven church. Oh. You can pick them. Oh. You can pick them. So a church is a temple? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you had, like, temples when you when we were talking about... Seven temples. But I did just get back from Thailand, and a temple is like a temple. <laughs> okay, we had temples? Yeah. Yeah. You have to see the temples in Europe. They are huge. Oh, I'd love to. I'm going to someday. We will. I, I will. mean, that's an... Okay, that, I was going to go there, but for people that they are... Semana Santa is 100% a vacation week. You take it how you want it, but it's a vacation. You're going to take it about Jesus. All the channels just put like... Chris, passion, passion of the passion of the Christ, the passion of the Christ, or, or movies about Jesus all week. So yeah, we start that, and I remember like going to the seven temples with this woman, and you just go to the every people is doing their own thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like a collective group, and we're gonna have liturgy, sit, stand. Everyone does this. Everyone goes and does their own respect. Yeah, but now that I remember about what I was going with this topic, it's like, for us, it's 100% the cross, Jesus, Virgin, Church. Why are the eggs? Uh, well, there's a lot of different conceptions about the eggs. Um, I like to think of the eggs as something that is dead, but inside the tomb, there's this golden prize. It's your hard-boiled egg. It's, it's delicious. Now, the part about hunting for the eggs is another thing. It's this empty tomb, right? It's an eggshell. Mm-hmm. And kids go looking for them like the disciples and Mary that ran back because they, they ran to the tomb because they heard that Jesus wasn't there anymore. And they ran and they found this angel saying, he's alive. He's alive, and that was the best news. It was the good news, and they needed to go and spread the good news. So you find the eggs with the prize inside. It's money, it's candy. It's, it's to remind you that inside the tomb was actually the best prize. There was no body. Mm-hmm. So, my, I mean, sometimes my family hide or hid eggs that were empty 
it was just fun to go look for them. But I think the real conception is that inside of the death, there's still something beautiful. Okay. It's just so colorful to me. To us, it's 100% images. Yeah. You know, Jesus, like, crucifying, like, go to blood and blah, blah, blah. You get it? Yeah. And also on Friday, nobody eat meat. Because you need to do a sacrifice. Okay, so I think the sacrifice, that's interesting. I want to hear about that. But, like, we, you know about Lent? Yeah, the month of Lent. And then you were sacrificing the whole time, like, when you had the ear. I know. I remember Quaresma. A lot of people. Quaresma. Well, yeah, it's like 40 days. Because for us, the celebrations is not just Easter. For us, celebration starts in Carnival. Ca Car Carnival. Carnival. Mardi, Mardi Gras. Oh, Okay. I don't know. I, and actually, I was trying today to try to figure it out how it happened. But honestly, I don't know. But so at some point in February, we had two days off. And actually, that's our Monday and Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> there they are. Yeah. Monday and Tuesday off. That like, is our carnival. School does not work. Nothing works. And actually, on those days, I didn't connect with religious, honestly. But until now. But what we used to do is like the balloons with water water balloons yeah you just throw it to people that's our tradition for oh a, a bunch and of colorful water balloons but like no, a bunch of colorful eggs no listen like <laughs> no you see you see people and you just throw it like because on oh, february for us is so hot yeah oh i see so for us carnival is just about like costumes yeah and what do the costumes represent I, that's what I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But I just I remember that, like parades or stuff. And I remember I, I'm half Colombian. I have been to the Barranquilla Carnival. That is the second biggest in the world. The first one is in Rio de Janeiro. Uh -huh. In Rio. In, in Barranquilla. It's in, Carnival. Yeah. yeah, in Brazil. Uh -huh. I ha the second one is in Barranquilla, Colombia. I have been there. And... Uh, I remember growing up seeing like carnivals and I remember in my hometown going to the carnivals and dressing what I wanted and blah, blah, blah. So carnival for us is huge. Do they have a carnival around Holy Week? No, listen, oh. that's where I was going to go. So carnival is Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. Where they put yeah, a cross of ashes yeah. on their head. From that day are the 40 days. Oh. Uh -huh. Where, like, from Wednesday, mm -hmm. from that Wednesday, after Carnival, mm -hmm. is like the 40 days that Jesus suffered in the desert. Uh-huh. And after that, I start Holy Week. Oh, I see. So for us, those 40 days is where you do the sacrifices. I really had no idea what Holy Week was going to be about, but you're giving me goosebumps the more you talk about it, because I just love... Easter is my favorite... Like, I just love that Jesus, I just love Jesus. I, I, yeah. just, I just can't believe, like, it, can you imagine if she just, herself, I mean, didn't herself, was took taken by the town and horribly because she, she didn't want anyone else to get hurt? That's a sacrifice. But somebody else did that for all of us already ages ago. And everyone forgets about it. It's like the yeah. most important holiday Ever. And, and and people are more worried about Christmas. I mean, Christmas is great. That's when he was born. But, but Easter is say. when it was really big deal. I mean, we're going to talk about that on Christmas episode. But uh -huh. for us, Christmas is about Jesus. It's not about Santa Claus. Yeah, exactly. It's not about red and green. Right. <laughs> it's about like having the pesebres or the stuff. But we're going to talk about that on yeah. December. So, yeah, the 40 days is where you do the sacrifices. Like, you know, Jesus, if you give me this next day, I'm going to, you know, like, whatever. I'm not going to drink for days. I'm not going to do that. You do sacrifices for these 40 days. Yeah. And it's quaresma. So, do quaresma. And day. it could be as simple as I'm not going to eat meat the entire 40 days. No, but 100% on Friday, Santo. On Good Friday. Good Friday. Nobody eats meat. Fish. F no fish. Fish. They have fish. I, what happened that for us is not the same. Well, I'm I'm curious. Like you're saying, nobody eats meat, and then you said fish. Nobody. In, no, I'm sorry. I know. I know. No, it's my fault. 
Uh, well, it depends that for us, carne is carne. Uh-huh. Uh, fish are just fish. Yeah. No, so, so I, 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 yeah. I get lost in translation. So nobody eats like actually pork, beef, yeah. shrimp. Yeah. No, shrimp. No. We Tri- only eat fish. Yeah. It's a, or sacrifice. Yeah. No, that makes sense to me. I mean, I think. Nobody eats red meat. Yeah, red meat. Yeah. No pork, no lamb, no beef. Yeah. Nobody eats that. Nobody. Like that. Chicken? Seem. I, 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 think, I don't know. I think chicken counts as meat, even though it's a white meat. I don't know. I grew up eating fish on Friday. Yeah. I keep forgetting the idea. <laughs> Since I have been living in the United States for so long, I totally forgot about Holy Week. And when I went to Colombia and Monica Republic last year, I was so shocked. I didn't recall. I didn't prepare. I was not ready. Yeah. So we land on Sunday, uh, on Palm Sunday. The and 24th. We were, uh, when is Spencer's birthday? It's not. It's actually, it, that's the problem. It's not the same every day. That's what I was trying to figure it out. Sure. How Carnival started. Because it's from Carnival, 40 days after. So I don't know. So, But when is Spencer's birthday? Uh, April 7th. Okay. So listen, last year. Uh, we went to uh, Colombia on Sunday. Um, everything was like packed. And I wanted to go to Cerro Montserrat in Bogota. Cerro Montserrat is just a church in the top of Bogota where you can see the city. It was packed of people uh, paying religion scenes. Uh-huh. And we couldn't go. I was like, what is happening? So whatever, we land at Dominican Republic Um Thursday, good Thursday, dry low, everything closed, was Spencer's birthday, and he couldn't buy any liquor anywhere, a drink. Nobody was selling alcohol. I was like, geez, we are on Holy Week. (laughs) (laughs) I totally forgot about it. (sighs) Oh, and actually when I went to Cerro Montserrat, I saw all the people, I was like, of course it's going to be packed. It's Domingo Sun. Is is Domingo de Ramos. I'm still confused, though, because his birthday is April 7th. As I say, I'm not sure about how it started. because it's So, a- Holly Week for you guys could be not the same day as Easter for us. Because it's the... Fo- it is the same day. So... I mean, what I'm... Uh, what but Easter is in March, and his birthday is in April. Are you sure that Easter is actually in March? Yeah. All the time? Usually, yeah. But it has been in April? No, I don't. I don't think so. That's why I'm confused. I Are you sure you didn't be. go in March? Because what I can see for you, Easter is the day that Jesus resuscitated, right? Resurrected. Resurrected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Last year it was April 9th. Exactly. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm so confused. I could have sworn it was always in March. That's what I'm saying. Last year it was April 7th. And we were in Dominican Republic. Oh, oh, it was Friday. I'm sorry. I forgot. And Easter this year is March 31st. I could have sworn it was always in no, March. No, it's not the same. Ah. It, it started, as I say. Yeah. It makes sense on Carnival. It started oh. in Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> it's after, oh so you God. count, we didn't count that. We count like after Carnival, all 40 days. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're, 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 you're not just remembering Holly Week because of me this year. Like you remember. Honestly, it wasn't because of you. I don't think I will pay that much attention because uh, something that has, I think, I have been living in the United States for seven years. It's not like I forgot. I think the culture makes you kind of forget if you are not so into because in Venezuela, you see a Catholic church yeah. every single corner. Here, yeah. you have to go. Yeah. I remember trying... It's definitely not the same. We're not going to have processions. We're not going to have yeah 2,000 people walking down the, what street? Exactly. And Thursday and Friday, everything yeah. is working as it should work. I mean, yeah. I mean, kids get spring break, but they don't even realize like we're, we're, we're what we're celebrating, you know. Yeah. yeah. But spring break it can be random. It depends yeah. on the school. Because I went, I wasn't a student in the America. And I remember my spring break, I counted. Honestly, when I came to America, I had my ticket to come here and to go back. Uh-huh. I bought the ticket to go back on Holy Week because I know 
was going to be the same week as Venezuela. It was not. My spring break from the school. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. It was not the same. Oh. So I couldn't go back. No. Fail. I'm excited for this Easter. Not only are we celebrating Easter as a family on the weekend of the 30th, like extended family, but um, there's going to be a baby shower for oh, my sister. That's so exciting. Yes. And I need to get a few more things in order, but it's just like, it's more than one celebration. So I'm really excited about this year. And it's on the weekend, so. <laughs> yeah, it's just so exciting. I mean, that, for us, it's just when you go to see your family and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, my family is pretty big on um, Easter. Like, if you start at the beginning of the year and you think about holidays in my family, I immediately start with New Year's, my birthday. <laughs> and then you have St. Patrick's Day, but that's not a big thing in the family. It's Easter. Fourth of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Those are the biggest ones where the family actually gets together. Easter, Fourth of July, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. If all the, if all the family would be in the same or close together, we would visit each other every single week or as much as we can. Yeah, yeah. So for us, holidays would be grandma's birthday. yeah. <laughs> I remember we 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 didn't ever celebrate Halloween, but, but we did because we would have a harvest party. Oh, instead. we don't celebrate Halloween. Yeah, we would we wouldn't, but our family would dress up in our own harvest because we would just finish harvesting the orchard. We 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 were farmers, so we are farmers. So we finish harvesting, and then we have this harvest party, and we dress up, and we all went into the grandma and grandpa's basement, locked the doors, and turned off the lights outside so no one would come trick-or-treating, and we would just have, like, it was like a pre-Thanksgiving. Food, games, you know, we're, we're feeling festive, it smells like pumpkin spice. I actually, I felt so connected with my Catholic scenes. When I went to Europe, and I saw all, all the monuments, yeah, all the church, and all the stuff, it was like... Yeah. Vatican is just every time I love I think that's what I like the most about Europe. Yeah. I like to see the church. Yeah. I would love to go and see all the cathedrals and the churches and <sighs> there's just not enough time in the world. You know that it was because God say like if you made bigger that's what they do. If you made bigger things, God is gonna see you better. Yeah. So the bigger, made, the better, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they made, it's, they are huge. Yeah. But in, well, for me, in reality, like the Bible says, if two or more are gathered, you know, it's, you're in, you, we're a church right now. Mm -hmm. You just, you don't have to go anywhere to have church, to have fellowship. Have you used mine, my rosaries? We, we, I have a rosary, but. Have you used mine, my? I, don't think so. You can't smell it? I can smell it. Oh, wow. I've never seen one that smelled before. I bought it inside the Vatican. Wow. I made sure that I was inside the Vatican where I bought it. Wow. I love this. Oh, wow. So one is for... I had to... One is for each of my kids. Aww. I bought it inside the Vatican. When when did you do that? Uh, to, uh, the first time I went to Europe, that I went to Italy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that came from Italy. <laughs> it says made in Italy. He's, he's <laughs> 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 the Pope is like... <laughs> Sorry. It's just funny that he's waving. So, closing out the episode, I hope you like it. Yeah, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Don't forget, we're your hosts, B&B. &B. <laughs>